Well, hello and welcome back, everybody. So, in this episode of digital image processing, I'm going to be converting negative images to their positive forms or teaching you how to make negatives of images. So, first things first is we're going to open up a CMD or command prompt. I'm going to navigate to my directory, so just cd dot dot slash dot dot and then go to Rust, and then I'm going to do cargo new image underscore process dash dash bin. Once that's all created, I'm going to do cd image underscore process, and then code space dot. This should open up a VS Code console which it did on one of my other monitors. You can hit Control W to close out the first tab here. This will require a library, so we're gonna open up our cargo.toml. Under our dependencies, we're gonna do image equals quotations, 0 0.24.3 quotation. Once we have this saved, we can open up a terminal up here and then we can type in cargo build. Once that builds, it's gonna install all of our libraries. It's gonna take a while to get all of the information so we can start working on our project here. So this is gonna be a multi-folder, subfolder class structure. So I'm gonna add a new folder right away. I'm gonna call this process post underscore process. And then I'm going to make a file also called post underscore process and then dot rs is the file extension for rust this folder is not going to hold much it's just going to hold our name of our function which i'm going to call it negative i'm going to do a semicolon and then within our post process folder we're going to make a negative dot rs this post process here just tells our main how to get to this negative folder so once we're in our negative file, we have to use our libraries. So we're going to use space image double colons squarely brackets, and we're going to need a generic image view, a dynamic image, and a RGBA image. We're going to close that out with a semicolon, and I'm just doing extra space. We need a public function. I'm going to call this adjust. You can call us whatever you want. This is just going to be adjusting our image. And we now we need our input image. So we're just going to do in image colon. And this is going to be a pointer. Or we're going to borrow this as a dynamic image. And it is going to release a RGBA image. Open up our squirrely brackets. Now that we have our image here, we need to get the dimensions. So we're going to let parentheses width comma height equal in underscore image dot dimensions. If I can spell dimensions right. And then brackets. Now we have our dimensions. Now we need to set our new image because we have to cast this because this is not mutable we'd like to keep this one the same and then export an RGB image so we have to make a new one so we're gonna let a mutable out underscore image equal an RGBA image and then colon colon new width and then height so we have the same dimensioned image after we have that now it's gonna be time for our for loop so we're going to be going through every one of the pixels in our original image and then converting it to the negative form. So we're going to go all of the y's first, so a 4y in 0 dot dot height, squirrely brackets, and then we're going to do 4x in 0 dot dot width, squirrely brackets. So now that we're going to be indexing through each one of these, now we need to get our pixel data, so we're going to let immutable pixel. This is mutable because we have to change it to its negative form. So we're going to do our pixel equals our in image dot get pixel. So underscore pixel. This is going to be at our x, y location. Now that we have our pixel, 
Now it's time to loop through each one of the different colors inside of the pixel. So 4i in 0 dot dot 3, because there's the three different colors, R, G, B. We don't need to worry about the alpha because if it is a fully opaque image, it would just disappear. And then now with inside of our pixel, we're going to be doing the index of i. We're going to set that to equal 255. We have to set this as a U8 because that's how pixels are stored as unsigned 8-bit integers. And we're going to do our pixel of the color that we're currently doing. So this is what gets our sign negative is we're converting. So if this was 255, it would be converted to zero, so pitch black. And then now we need to set our out image. We need to put the pixel inside of here, so put underscore pixel at our XY location and then our new pixel, which is PIX. And then at the end of this function, we are going to return our out underscore image. And now our negative function should be fully implemented. So now it's time to go back into our main.rs folder. Now, in order to get our information from our different post processing, we're going to mod their post process folder. So just mod post process. This gives us access to our negative image. Now we need to do a use image. So we need to get all of our different libraries. So it's going to be image colon colon squirrely brackets. We're going to get our generic image view, our dynamic image, and our RGB A image. And then semicolon to close that out. And we need one more asset here. So this is going to be use STD, so standard, or standard library. So we're going to do path, and then another double colon, and then capital path. So this is how we're going to save our image. We can print the hello world here just so we can see how long it takes to do our images. So we're going to let our image equal image colon colon open. So this is how we're going to get our image. And then my first image is going to be a pug.png. And then we want to unwrap this. So unwrap just gives us back our value. And then if it can't find it, it just panics and quits out of the program. And then we're going to let negative underscore image equal post process colon colon negative colon colon adjust. And then this is going to be our in image. Now this should give us back our image. So now all we have to do is let our path equal capital path colon colon new. And then whatever we want to call our new image, I'm going to just call this neg pug.png. That's going to be our new image name. And then we can put a semicolon at the end of that. And now we need to save our image. We're going to do neg underscore img. And we're going to do dot save parentheses. Now we need to import our path. So that's just going to be at path. And we need to unwrap this. So we make sure that it gets called. And then Turn that value to img instead of in image. Now this should be all of the information we need. Oh, we need to put in and percent ahead of this. So we tell this function that it can borrow our information. So I'm also going to import a JPEG for this. So I am going to copy all of this information. I'm going to do an enter to separate it out. So this is going to be a test.jpg. And then this is going to be test jpg. And we'll have to rename this. So we're going to call this image 2. And this is going to be image 2. And then this is path 2. It's path 2. So now we need to go into our directory. And I'm going to drag both of these into here. So image process. Now we can see that they popped up in our VS code. So now if I hit run on here, it might take a few seconds. So now if you look at our folders, we got our negative image of our pug. So we can open up this. So now we can see that we have a negative of the pug. Quite freaky, but 
And it looks like our test image took a little bit longer to develop. But if we open it here, now it's black and white. And I'm not sure why it did not scale properly. Let's go through all the images. Oh, there it goes. Now it finished. Probably was still loading. All right. I'm going to drop in my GitHub here. So if you guys would like to follow along with my projects or get earlier updates, if you navigate to my GitHub, it will also be in the description. So you can check out my normal languages or whenever I upload new projects. You guys can see some early insights there. And then also, last video, after I brought up how many subscribers I had, and then that 99.6% were not subscribed, that went down to 99% people not subscribed, so thank you guys so much for subscribing. And if you like the video, helps me out, comment, it just boosts my ego, but I appreciate it. So, yep, thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.